Good morning children. Today we are going to learn the basic grammar pattern tenses. I think you have been learning the tenses since fifth standard. Still you do not get the clear cut idea about the clear cut idea about the tenses. While speaking English, you should come definitely without your knowledge you commit the mistakes while writing the sentence, while writing the paragraphs. While writing the sentences of your own, you do not know where I use present tense, where I use past tense, where I use the future tense. That is the reason, again, in ninth standard, we should give the import, more importance to learn the tenses because it is a basic grammar pattern. If you know the tenses, well, you can speak English without grammatical mistakes. You can write the sentence of your own without grammatical mistakes. It helps you to write the sentence of your own. Understand? Fluency is more important than accuracy. By the means, without, without, gram, without, without grammatical, grammatical, uh, with the grammatical error, we cannot speak English. Understand? With, you try to speak English without grammatical mistakes. This is grammatical error. Understand? This is my first and foremost request to you. And next of all, tenses. What is mean by tenses, children? You know, present tense, past tense, future tense. Understand? And there are three there are three main tenses and the next one twelve tenses and the next one each sentence each tenses has a four four tenses present simple present tense, present continuous tense, present perfect tense, present perfect continuous tense. Understand that I'm gonna but before going to learn the tenses, first we have to learn what are the things are important to what are the things are too important, too essential, too essential to learn. First, what is mean by tense? Tense of a verb, it shows the time of an action, time, action and the degree of its completeness and the degree of its completeness. And the next one, what are the verbs are shown, shown the time? What are the verbs are shown by the time? What are the verbs are shown by the action? Ancillary verbs, ancillary verbs are shown by the time. Main verbs are shown by the actions. Understand? Ancillary verbs are also called known as helping verbs because it always preceded by a main verb. It is always preceded by a main verb. Sometimes ancillary verb which is hidden in the main verb. Which is hidden in the main verb. Let us see. And next one, what are the ancillary verbs? B form verbs, do form verbs, have form verbs, oral ancillary, semi semi modal model axillaries and then semi modal model axillaries and then semi modal let us see children b form verbs b form verbs axillary verbs are also called known as timing verbs and helping verbs which always indicates the time which always help to the main verbs to expresses the expresses the, what does the subject do what does the subject do when does when does the subject do when does the subject do when does the subject when does the doer of the when does the doer do the action? Understand or not? Let us see the B form verbs. B form verbs are B1, B2, B3, B4. B1 means present tense. B1 stands for present tense. B2 stands for past tense. B3 stands for past participle. B4 refers to the present participle. Present participle. Present tense. B form verbs are am, is, are. Am is a singular. Is it a singular or is a plural B form verb? They are present tense B form verbs. Present tense singular B form verbs are am and is. I followed by if the subject is I followed by the present tense B form verb is am. If the subject is he, she, it, he, she, it, preceded by the present tense B form verb is is. If the subject is V, you, V, you, V, they, you, V, they, you, V, they are. I, you, you are, you are a student, you are a student, we are the students and they are students. Understand, Anna, Anna? If the subject is I followed by the present tense, we found out is am, he, she, followed by the present tense, we found out is is, you, I, we, you, they followed by the present tense, we found out is are. Understand? Am, was found, was, be, being, is, was, be, being, or, that, be, being. Do you all understand present tense B form books? These books are belong to the B form book family. Understand? And the do form books family. Let us know the do form books. Yeah. Present tense do form books are do under does. Where do we use to do? Where do we use does? 
If the subject is I, P, U, I, V, U, they followed by the present tense do form or be said do. If the subject is he, she, it followed by the present tense do form or be does. Understand? Present tense do form or so do and does it do past form did past participle done. But present participle doing does did done doing. We all understand the present tense do form books and the pre present tense do form books and the present tense be form books. Have you all got a clear cut idea about the be form books and do form books, children? And that we use and is or that we use do and does. We know the difference between do and does, children. Do and does past form did past participle done present participle also doing. Understand both. Present participle past tense and past participle and present participle are same, but there is a slight mere difference. Do and does. Do and does. Where do we use do? Where do we use does? Understand? And the next one, have form goes. Present tense have form goes and have and then has. If the subject is I, B, U, they, I, B, U, they followed by the present tense have form goes is have. If the subject is he, she, he, she, it followed by the present tense have form goes is has. Have and has followed by the past tense have and has followed, have and has past form is had, past participle had, present participle having. Understand? Have, had, had, having. Has, had, had, having. Understand? B2, B3, B4 are same, but the present tense have form books are two. Have and has. Where do we use have? Where do we use has? If the subject is I, V, U, they followed by have. If the subject is he, she, followed by has. Understand? Third person singular, he, she, followed by has. I have brother, she has sister. Understand? And more Axillary books, modern axillary books, modern axillary books, will, would, will, pass form, will, would, will, pass form, would, shall, pass form, would, should, can, pass form, would, may, pass form, might, must, pass form, had to, when you love, when you are going to learn the direct speech, indirect speech, indirect speech, I should give an elaborate explanation, must, is, must, that should, must go, that should be changed into pass form, we have to use that, Verb is had to. We have to use the verb is had to. Had to. Understand? You don't get confusion. Modern ancillary books. Will, would, shall, should, can, could, may, might, must. And semi modal. Semi modal is ought to, ought to, need to, used to, used to, that to. They are semi modal. So they are semi Modal, semi modal axillary verbs. Semi modal axillary axillary verbs. Semi modal axillary verbs. Understand? These are axillary verbs. These are axillary verbs. Present tense, be form, be form verbs, do form verbs, have form verbs, modal axillary verbs, and semi axillary verbs. Semi modal, semi modal axillary verbs. Semi quasi modal also. Sometimes they are called as Sometimes such a guy, when you refer to such a guy, the quasi model is there. Understand? Don't get confusion. Just before going to learn the, all the multiple types of tenses, you should learn the, you should familiar with the axillary books. Understand? If you do not have a clear cut idea about the axillary books, definitely you have a little trouble to learn the tenses. Understand? And the next one, axillary books and the main books. What are main books? Main books which is show, main books which is show that actions understand for example i write i play understand i think whatever we do understand one doer is going to do all the things understand these are called action words action words and the next one action words action words are for example i water the plant i drink water what i water the plant water in this place water word is indicated i drink water in this sentence, what is the verb? Drink is the verb. I water the plants. In this place, the water verb is acted as the, uh, expresses the action. Expresses the action. It is called main verb. Water, 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 watering. She waters the plants. She waters the plants. Water verb according to the place. 
the verb the the word should be given a different meaning understand i drink water in this place which is acted as a object and a noun form object or a noun form according to the sentence pattern the water i drink water the word is acted as a object and as according to this sponsor speech the word is acted as a noun form understand arakana i water the plants in this sentence i water the plants in this sentence the word which is acted as a verb the verb the word which shows the action it shows the action we all understand we all understand the auxiliary verbs and the main verbs let us learn the tenses listen carefully children there are three main tenses present tense past tense future tense present tense stands for today's activities past tense expresses the yesterday activities yesterday yesterday mode uh, yesterday and the ancient era activities and next one future tense it indicate the tomorrow activities present tense stands for today past tense sometimes present tense stands for tomorrow also tomorrow activities also we should use the simple present tense past tense we should use past and past tense we should as we past tense stands for yesterday future tense stands for tomorrow let us learn the tenses listen carefully children present present tense what are the main tenses tense present tense past tense future tense future tense present tense stands for today's activities today's activities and future activities also past tense which stands for yesterday present tense stands for today past tense stands for yesterday future tense stands for tomorrow understand present today's activities we have to use the simple present tense to frame the sentence past tense yesterday is what we did yesterday these actions we have to use the past tense to frame the sentence future tense tomorrow activities we have to use the simple future tense simple future tense and future tense and each present tense has a four types present tense present tense there are four types simple present tense simple present tense present tense simple present tense present continuous tense present continuous tense present continuous tense present perfect tense present present perfect tense perfect tense present perfect continuous tense present perfect continuous tense understand simple present present tense four types present tense present continuous tense present perfect tense present perfect continuous tense present perfect continuous tense today activities we are going to use the four types of sentences to express our thoughts understand i teach present continuous you are learning the grammar you are learning the grammar you are learning the present continuous tense you are learning the grammar that is going on and the present perfect continuous present perfect the action completed in the recent past the action which is completed in the recent past present perfect continuous present perfect continuous the action which began in the past that should be continuing under present understand present tense simple present tense present continuous tense present perfect tense and the next one past tense past tense also simple past tense simple past tense past tense past tense four tense simple past tense simple past tense yesterday's activities we used the four tenses past continuous tense past continuous tense past continuous tense past continuous tense 
Past perfect tense. Past perfect continuous tense.
plus unless meaning if not unless meaning if not probably you are uh, probably all the teachers as if you study well you will score the good marks if you study well if it is a conditional plus if you study if you if you study well if you study well you will score the good marks 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 understand kana you will score the good marks if conditional class if conditional is a subordinate class because it depends on the other one sentence you know subordinate class it's a main class sentence if a conditional main class as sentence will be shown in simple future tense when we write that subordinate class present tense verb and the next one conditional class also we should appropriate the simple present tense verb which type of sentence do we appropriate the simple present tense verb do you all understand children habitual activities habitual actions universal rules and scheduled future proverbs imperative sentences conditional class in science for example science in science physics and chemistry physics and chemistry practical you should use the simple present tense verb but social history you should use the simple past tense do you all understand children and as a science scientific truth also we should use the simple present tense do you all understand which type of sentence do we appropriate the simple present tense but such a such a clue words such a clue words are to uh, help uh, help us for uh, appropriating the simple present tense the sentence has a clue words all these often never said or sometimes usually generally daily occasionally frequently regularly normally every time hardly rarely scarcely twice a day every monday every sunday every tuesday every year and sometimes the sentence do not have a clue words this is do not have a clue words means whether in this or in this in this type of sentence definitely which are opposed to that which are opposed to indicates the meaning of proverbs or imperative sentences or universal truth for example the birds does the 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 bird built the the birds built the nest built the nest today also there is no clue words there is no clue words in this type we want today the birds built the nest tomorrow the bird is going to build the bungalow uh, no kana so such is the type of sentence so there is no there is no clue word there is no clue word so you should understand understand the theme of the sentence understand the concept of the sentence to appropriate the right answer do you all understand these are present tense clue words these words are expresses the routine action routine action for example we celebrate diwali we celebrate diwali yeah every year we celebrate diwali we celebrate independence day we celebrate pongal there is no clue word yeah the process there is no clue word but there is uh, that should be the it refers to the routine action routine action so in this type of sentence we should use the simple present tense these sentences has a any one of the clue word any one of the clue word all is half and never seldom barely scarcely is that we why today every month every week every year every sunday every monday anything any one of the clue word you should appropriate the tense simple present tense and the proverbs we should appropriate the tense simple present tense conditional plus according to the main class verb we should decide the verb understand you just know it after learning the tenses we should learn the conditional classes if and unless for just for your information that we use the that do we use the simple present tense verb that is the reason i have to give a explanation conditional classes also we should use the present tense understand let us see the example sentence children listen carefully dears before going to learn to see learn the examples the example sentences with simple present tense let us learn how to write the simple present tense verb understand it's very very important before going to learn the tenses we should learn the two things auxiliary verbs and main verbs because our tense is a combination of verb is a combination of present tense combination of present tense next let us learn how to write the simple present tense verb how to write the simple present tense verb i should 
Listen, how to write a simple present tense verb? B1 or B1 plus yes or yes or IES. IES. Understand how to write a simple present tense verb? B1 or B1 plus yes or B1 plus ES or IES. And if it is for example, and if it is a positive, the same tense. For example, write, write or writes. Understand that now? Write and writes. B1, write and writes. If the subject is I V U D followed by the verb is B1. Understand? If the subject is E C followed by the verb is B1 plus S R D S R I E S E S R I E S. Write and writes. Write and writes. And the next one, how to write? It is a positive verb, you know. How to write the negative verb? Every B1 verb has hidden the ancillary verb. Write which ancillary verb is it and do. Understand? Write which ancillary verb is it and does. Understand? Do plus write is equal to write. Do plus write is equal to write. Does plus write is equal to write. It's a positive. For example, sometimes not write. Understand? My brother does not write the homework. Every day. In this type of sentence, how do you appropriate the answer? Bracket not write. How do you appropriate the answer? My brother does not write the homework every day. Understand? Why? Understand? It is a positive formation. It's a negative formation. How to every present tense of has written that do for books. Do plus writes equal to write. Does plus writes equal to write. Negative. Do plus not plus write. Understand? Does plus not plus uh, right. Does plus not plus uh, right. Understand? Present. How to write a simple present tense for B1 or B1 plus yes or yes or IES. Negative way. Do plus not plus right. Does plus not plus right. And then am is on also. Am is on. Already I told you. Present tense B form books. Am is on. Present tense B form books. Am is on. And the next one, just so you know, you don't confuse. For example, honey, honey dash verb is be sweet. Understand? Which text are you going to appropriate children? Honey dash sweet. That is no clue word. Understand? Honey dash sweet. Verb is be. Bracket. Understand? Bracket. What is the word is that? Be. What you are going to appropriate the answer? The sentence which is says about which is expresses the which is says about the universal truth. Today honey is sweet, tomorrow honey is bitter. Da. No, no, honey is sweet. So universal truth. Fact. So present tense be form verb is is. Understand? Present tense be form verb is is. How to write the simple present tense verb? Be one or be one plus yes or yes or I I E S. It's a positive. It's a positive formation. How to write the negative past negative present tense? Negative simple present tense so, over. Do plus not plus write. Does plus not plus write. Does plus not plus write. And half form over. So sometimes you don't get confusion. Just know it. This one you have to know it. After learning the twelve tenses, definitely you have get you are definitely you get some idea how to appropriate the verbs. Understand? First you read the sentence thoroughly. You read the sentence thoroughly to understand the concept, understand the theme of the sentence. What does the sentence express? What does the sentence express? And whether the sentence has a clue word or not. If the sentence has a clue word, definitely we can frame the answer. We can appropriate the right answer. If the sentence does not have a clue word, definitely you should understand the concept of the sentence to appropriate the answer. In this sentence, there is no clue word. Understand? In sometimes like you commit, uh, sometimes you commit the mistake, children. In the uh, commit, uh, commit the mistake. In grammar only you appropriate the grammar. Why not in the grammar only you appropriate the right, uh, right answer to frame the sentence. But uh, other subject when you when you write the other subject, you should commit the. You definitely, I happen to see the many students papers. You commit the mistake in geography also. Uh, the physics also, chemistry also, you should commit. You will definitely commit the mistake without your knowledge. It is not fair for writing the answer. 
you learn the grammar for framing the sentence in all the subject without the grammatical mistakes it is a purpose for learning the grammar understand and the next one do you all understand which type of sentence will you appropriate that what is meant by simple present tense simple present tense used to show the habitual activities regular activities universal to the scheduled future and the next one proverbs Proverbs, imperative sentences, and in conditional clauses, and such a few words are helpful to frame appropriate the answer. And the next one, how to write a simple present tense verb? Simple present tense verb. We want or we want plus yes or ye, ies, and the negative way. Do plus not plus write it. Do plus not plus write it. Very appropriate. We want if the subject is I, we, you, they, followed by we want if the subject is he, she, followed by write. Go for plus yes. Understand? And the next one, if the subject is I, B, U, they. If the subject is I, B, U, they. I, B, U, they followed by do. If the subject is he, she, it followed by he, she, it. He, she, he, she, it. He, she, it followed by does. Understand? If the subject is I, write a letter. I, write a letter. B, write a letter. You, write a letter. He, she, it, write a letter. He, she, it, write a letter. Letter B writes a letter. C writes a letter. It writes a letter. It means in this place the child also. Child we have to use the subject pronoun. Understand? It writes a letter. It writes a letter. They write a letter. They write a letter. First person. Listen. Understand the sun, the moon, the earth. 
it's all the planets before we should use the optical that understand the sun the sun does in the east it's a universal truth you know the sentence does not have a clue word the sentence does not have a clue word but the sentence which is indicate that universal truth which indicates the theme of universal truth so we should appropriate the tense simple present tense understand read the sentence thoroughly you should understand the concept of the sentence the sentence does not have a clue word but which indicates the meaning of universal truth the theme of universal truth so universal the sentence which indicates the universal truth which sentence which tense do you appropriate simple present tense simple present tense how to write the simple present tense for b1 or b1 plus s or es or ies with the subject is he she it we have to appropriate b he she b b1 plus es or ies the sun is here we have to write a subject pronoun it it is followed by b1 plus s or es or ies in simple present tense you know what is the answer the sun rises in the east understand why do you appropriate rises and set the sun sets in the west understand why do you appropriate the rises and set it expresses the universal truth so we appropriate the answer simple present tense if the subject is third person singular so b1 plus yes or es or ies understand and the next sentence sheila rarely dash go to the movies go to the movies listen the sentence has a clue word rarely the sentence has a clue word is rarely the sentence has a clue word rarely rarely sentence has a clue word rarely which expresses which is tense clue word to the simple present tense clue word simple present tense clue word and sheila followed by verb plus s r e s r i e sheila in sila we write the subject pronoun she what is the answer goes understand and the next one the students always dash complete the year works on time always is a clue word for simple present tense always clue word which is indicate the repeated action regular action rarely also understand and so we have to appropriate the tense simple present tense students instead of write the subject pronoun they they followed by b1 what is answer complete what is answer complete do you all understand and the next one The medicine does be bitter. What is the verb in the sentence? Be bitter. Understand? There is no clue word. But the sentence which indicates the fact. Understand? General concept, you know. So what do you want to write the answer? Medicine is the verb. We write the subject pronoun it. It to follow by the present tense be form of this is. It to follow by the present tense be form of this is. And the next one, the school dash. Start again on Monday. It's very happy to read this sentence. You know, the school dash start again on Monday. And the next one, to school instead of we have to use this verb pronoun it. And the sentence which is indicated the scheduled future, the action that is sure to happen in the near future. So we have to appropriate the tense. Simple present tense. It followed by verb plus yes or yes or yes. Stop. Please. Next sentence. Next sentence. Please. Please. Next we should use a comma and please help me to cross the road. Help is the verb. The sentence does not have any clue word, but it is an imperative sentence. Every imperative sentence has a present tense. Present tense verb. Present tense verb. Every imperative sentence we should use B one because every imperative sentence has given the U subject pronoun. U followed by the verb is B one. Understand? U followed by the verb is B one. Understand? Why do you use B one in this sentence? Imperative sentence we use simple present tense. Why do you use B one? Every imperative sentence has given the U subject pronoun. U subject pr pronoun followed by the verb is B one in simple present tense. Do you all understand, children? And the next one, I dash not take exercise every morning. Every morning, which means the clue word for simple present tense, it shows the regular action. Regular action. I dash not take. Not take. Now we are going to. We are asking to frame the negative sentence. Negative sentence. And how to write the every morning? We need to appropriate the simple present tense verb. Simple present tense. Well, how to write the simple present tense verb in negative ages? You have to recall. Just now I have taught you how to write the simple present tense in 
in negative way two plus not plus v one. This is the diagram of two plus not plus v one. I follow the way two. This is the diagram. What is the answer? I do not take. I do not take. I do not take. I do not. I do not take exercise every morning. I do not take exercise every morning. I believe everybody is able to understand simple present tense. Which type of sentence we are going to write? Simple present tense. And the next one, how to write the simple present tense verb? Sentence there is no clue. Sentence does not have a clue. So you should understand the appropriate, the right answer. Understand? You can't children. Let us learn the continue to learn the simple past tense. Listen carefully, dears. Listen carefully, dears. Simple past tense. What is meant by simple past tense? Simple past tense used to express the past actions, the action which happened in the past or once upon a time. Once upon a time, the action was quite completed in the past. The action was quite completed in the past. Past action. Habitual actions in the past. Past actions. Habitual actions in the past. Habitual actions in the past. Habitual actions in the past means what is the meaning? During the college days. During my childhood days. I played with my friends. During my during during school days. I learned the I learned the tables. I learned the words. I learned the words. Understand or not? Not the action which was quite completed in the past. Habitual actions in the past. But in this type of sentence, how do you identify? During my childhood days, during my boyhood days, during my girlhood days, during my during my childhood days, during the adulthood days. Understand or not? Not these are the clue words for habitual actions in the past. Habitual actions in the Past. What well, and past are and in past is blue words are. Understand these blue words are help us to these help these blue words are help us to identify the past actions. Past actions. What are the blue words? Yesterday, two days ago, week, two weeks ago, two months ago, two years ago, last week, last month, last year, last Sunday, last Monday. These are the blue words for past tense. And once upon a time, long, long ago, in the ancient period, understand? Ancient period in those days, ancient days, in early days, in my childhood days, in my boyhood days, in 1947, 1947. Understand? India dash freedom in 1947. That is India dash verb is get freedom. That is no clue word. But India got freedom in 1947. You know that is no clue word. But the sentence. Indicates the past action. When you appropriate the tense, simple past tense. In 1947, on my birthday, on my birthday, on the day, on the day. Understand? These are the clue words for simple past tense. These clue words are helped us to identify the past actions. Sometimes the sentence do not have the sentence. Sentences do not have a clue words. In this type of sentence, you just understand the appropriate the answer. It is very easy. Write the answer, children. Listen carefully. Yes. How to write that? Understand? First of all, you will know which type of what is meant by simple past tense. Simple past tense used to express the past, past activities, past activities, past actions, and habitual actions in the past. Habitual actions in the past. And the next one, what are the clue words that indicated the past? Past events, past actions, past. And these are the timing words. These timing words are expresses the Past. Understand or not? Na. And the next one. How to write the past tense verb? V two. Understand? V two. How to write the past tense verb? V two. For example, I I wrote a letter. I wrote a letter. I wrote a write a letter. Write past form wrote. I write past form wrote. Understand? Na. Type past form wrote. And the past form. How to write a simple past tense verb? B two. I wrote a letter. B wrote a letter. You wrote a letter. He she it also. He she he wrote a letter. She wrote a letter. They wrote a letter. Understand? And the next one. In this road, the verb has been done. How to write the same sentence in the negative way? Which answer will be given? How to add the not? How to add the not? This answer is this main verb has been done. The do form verb did. D plus not plus V one. D plus not plus V one. D plus not plus V one. How to write the same sentence in the negative way? 
I did not write a letter. She did not write a letter. He did not write a letter. The action which was quite completed, quite completed in the past. Everything happened in the past. Past tense which stands for the yesterday activities. Understand Anantana? Ancient days, ancient days activities. The present tense which indicates the modern day activities in the current era. Understand? Do you know the difference between present tense and the present tense? Simple present tense and the simple past tense. Present, simple present tense which indicates the modern era, era, current digital era activities and the next one simple past tense which indicates the past, more ancient days, I mean yesterday's activities, yesterday, a month, last month, last Sunday, last week, last week, last year, understand, maximum, sometimes in maximum history you use the simple, in history you know how to find the sentence in simple past tense. Past tense, simple past tense, past continuous tense, and past perfect tense, and past perfect continuous tense. History fully used, you have to frame the sentence, you learn everything in, everything in simple past tense. Past tense. Understand? And next one, how to write the simple past tense verb? Did, how to be to? And in the negative way, did plus not plus be one, did plus not plus be one. And once again, you have to recall the past tense be form works was. Bad. Was was bad. Understand? Am past form was. Is past form was. All past form bad. Past tense be form was. Past tense be form was. I be, I be, I followed by was. He, she followed by was. I be, you, they followed by bad. Understand? You be, they followed by bad. We all understand how to write the simple past tense verb B2. In the positive way, B2. Negative D plus not plus B1. And the next one, let us see the examples. In the past tense, children, listen, listen carefully, yes. B dash go up last year. The last year is a plural for simple past tense. The last, last year which indicates the timing of yesterday. Last year. The action which was completed in the and completed last year. So which things are you going to appropriate? Simple past tense. How to write the simple past tense for B2? Go B2 is went. Go B2 is went. Go went gone. Go went. Go past form is went. And the next one, eat rain yesterday. Yesterday is action which happened in the which happened in the past. Yesterday is a blue word for past tense. How to write the simple past tense for B2? Eat followed by B2 also. Rain past form. Rain. Rain past form. Rain. We all understand children. And the third question is very interesting question. During his college days, current dash take part in all competitions. Yeah. He was, he, what is it? he had a great, he, was, he had a great interest to participate in all competitions during his college days. During his college days, when he was a college, when he was a college lawyer, he involved, he engaged in all the competitions. And what is which things are we going to appropriate during his college days? The action which happened in the past only now, which things are we going to appropriate? It's a habitual action in the past, which things are we going to appropriate past tense. Take past form is took. Take past form is took. Take past form is took. And the next one, the Hindu widows dash born themselves along with their husbands. There is no blue word. But in this incident happened in the past. This incident happened in the past. This this uh, this sentence we learned in the definitely we learned in the his social, isn't it? Our SSC subject children. The Hindu widows dash born themselves along with their husbands. There is no clue words. You just understand the concept of the sentence. When the, when was happened? When the incident was happened? It's very important. The, this incident happened. The incident was the incident happened long, long ago. Understand? We are years ago. So, which tense are you going to appropriate? Simple past tense. Burn past form is burned. Burn past form is burned. We all understand. Let us go to learn the next sentence. Such a headache. Such a started playing cricket when he was 11 years old. Understand? What is the verb in the sentence? B. What is the verb in the sentence? B. Understand? The incident happened in the past. What do you want to write? He followed by the B form of his past tense, B form of his 
was when he was 11 years old he started playing cricket he started playing the game of cricket game of cricket and let us go to learn the sixth sentence this is mala dash not attend the prayer last monday understand not attend now we are going to bring the negative answer in first sentence last monday is a good for first sentence last monday is indicates the action which was completed in the past so we have to be are sure to appropriate the tense simple past is mala mala not attend not attend how to write this which how to write the simple past tense so be negative way d plus not plus b1 b plus not plus b1 is it it or not or not how to write the answer d plus b not attend the attend b not attend the prayer last monday do you all understand what is meant by simple past tense past tense how to write the simple past tense so and and how to i before going to write the answer how do you how do you understand answer to appropriate the right answer to that let us learn the simple future tense listen carefully dears let us study listen to the simple future tense future tense which stands for the tomorrow activities tomorrow actions the action which will happen in the future understand present is present yesterday past is past But future does not promise anything else. Understand? But we have a confidence. Future tense. Future tense. Future tense. The action which will happen in the future. The action which will happen in the future. And next month, such a few words. Tomorrow, next month, next week, next year, next Monday, next Sunday. In few minutes, in few minutes, a year after, within a week, within a month, within a year. These are the few words for. simple future tense these are the two words for simple future tense how to write the understand action which will happen in the future tomorrow the next day the following day the following month the following week the following year and next and understand or not and also we have to use the simple future tense wait one second how to write the tomorrow we have to write the simple future tense the sentence which expresses the determination promise surety we have to use the simple future tense actually go well understand listen carefully the action just just think the action which will happen in the future understand the action the action which will happen in the future and the next one few months or tomorrow soon next week in a few minutes near here or there within a week within a month in a day or two understand And these are the clue words for simple future tense. And how to write the simple future tense book? Well, or uh, shall? Well, or uh, shall plus be one. Well, or uh, shall plus be one. These ancillary words, these modal ancillary words, which indicate the future. Where we use well? Where we use shall? If the subject is I, we, you. They, I will you. They, he, she, it, he, she, it. We have to use the he, she, it. They, we have to use the the. Understand? If the subject is I will you. They, he, she, it. They, he, she, it. I will you. They, he, she, it. I will you. They, he, she, it. We have to use the well. And shall is the traditional future tense. The traditional future tense which is present, which is followed by. If the subject is I and B, if the subject is first person singular I, first person plural B, followed by the followed by the future tense verb is shall. Understand? Shall is a traditional future tense. Shall is a traditional future tense which is occurred, which is which is occurred. First person, which is occurred, which is occurred, preceded by a first person singular I and a first person plural B. Do you all understand that? How to write the simple future tense for will or shall plus be one? We will write a letter. We shall write a letter. I shall write a letter. Correct. Understand? Are not enough? And especially where where do we use the shall traditional future tense? If the subject is I and B. Followed by we should use the 
simple future tense verb shall and will also correct many things with the sentence which expresses the determination, surety, promise. Understand? You don't get confusion. Shall. Shall is a. Shall. How to write the simple future tense verb? Will or shall plus B1. Will or shall plus B1. That will be used with. Will is suitable for all the subject terms. Shall is suitable for only two subject terms. First person singular I. First person plural B. We all understand. Jana. Let us learn the example sentences. This is I dare see you tomorrow. Tomorrow is a new word for simple future tense. How to write the simple future tense verb? Will or shall plus be one. Will or shall plus be one. Will or shall plus be one. Shall is a traditional future tense which is appeared before the which is appeared. Which is appeared. This is not a yet. First person singular. I and you be. Here what is the subject in the sentence? I. What is the subject in the sentence? I. I shall meet you tomorrow also correct. I will meet you tomorrow also correct. What is that? Sorry, I shall see you. I shall see you tomorrow also correct. I will see you tomorrow also correct. He dash come here at the 6 o'clock. Understand? Yeah, that is a sure day. No, the action which will happen in the future. You know, there is no clue word. But the action which will happen in the future. Can you appropriate that is simple future tense. How to write the simple future tense book? Will plus B1. He followed by will. He will come. He will come here at the 6 o'clock. And the next one. They dash arrive in a day or two. In a day or two meaning within a year. Within a week. Within a day. Understand? In a day or two means within a two days. Like that meaning in Okana. And the next one. They will arrive. They will arrive. They will Alright, they will arrive in a day or two. They will arrive in a day or two. And the next one, the new edition of this book dash come out shortly. In a short means the action, short means the action which will happen in the future. Understand? The action which will happen in the near future. We have to appropriate the tense. Simple future tense. Short means a pure word which is helpful you to refer the future action. You have to appropriate the tense. Simple future tense. What is the answer? Will come. Will come. Will come. Understand? She hopes you. She hopes you. Does help her. There is no clue word. She hopes. The sentence for the sentence which expresses the promise, determination. Promise, you know. So, what do you want to appropriate? Just now, I have told you, will, will, and will is used for the means and modal auxiliary also. This is indicates the meaning of determination, surety, promises. Understand or not? I mean, this sentence, what do you appropriate? What do you appropriate? The tense is simple feature and will help, will help, will help, will help, will help her. And then, this is just now, I have a will not shall plus be one. It's a positive, you know. How to write the negative verb? Will plus non equal to. Will plus non equal to won't. Just to know each other. Will plus non equal to won't. Shall plus non equal to. Shall plus non equal to. Shall. Shall plus non equal to. Shall. The same verb. For example, they. Attend them. For example, not attend, not attend the party next week. Understand? Or they will not attend the party, they will not attend the conference next week. Understand? Not attend. Now you are going to print the negative sentence. Now we are going to print the negative answer. But the sentence which is that which expresses the future action, you have to appropriate that in simple future tense. So, how to write the simple future tense for so, will or shall plus B1. But you are asked to frame the simple future tense verb in negative way. How to write it? Will plus not. Will plus not is equal to what? What is the answer? They will not attend the party. Or they won't attend the party. They won't attend the party. They won't attend the they won't attend the party next week. Have you all got a clear cut idea about the three tenses? Simple present tense, simple past tense, simple future tense. Just enjoy to learn. It's too easy to learn for yours. Let us learn the remaining tenses in the next class. Thank you children.